everyone it is Charlotte here welcome welcome back to my channel I am hoping today we can complete uh, the bags for this journal and be moving on and uh, if you're interested I have a little surprise share at the end somebody sent me some happy mail and I wanted to uh, share that with you I have not opened it yet so it will be a surprise for both of us took it out of the package but did not go through it so I am excited and I want to say thank you thank you Sherry it was sent to me from Sherry so thank you all right this was the next bag to be done and it was one of these so I thought let's just make this happen and I did go ahead and try to put things together so that uh, we could expedite the whole thing and it looks like I'm thinking because this is larger we may need to start on the inside I think that just might be easier and so I went ahead and did a lot of what I have done with you. So let's see if we can move this along so that we can get to some of the really good stuff. Hopefully everybody's doing great. And um, you're happy, you're healthy. I don't know why this always has to be getting this on here. And you don't have to do this. I just really want to reinforce the edges so that there's never an issue when the, when these bags get used just don't want that to be a problem for whoever gets this journal and we do want this to be even so there we go there we go and i did find that if i um well, not so much on this. I was going to say when you've got a gusset, I did find if you put paper clips down on the gusset, the opposite edge of whatever it is you're working on, it works so much better. So, um, yeah, that was a good discovery. I have this gorgeous piece here, and this is going to go over this edge and I'm not going to tear any edges I just really don't feel like I have to do that so I'm not going to worry about tearing the edges um, I like the look of torn edges but when you're collaging it is up to you as to what you want to do you could put your edges through a decorative punch you can leave them straight, you can tear them, you can distress them or not distress them. That is really something that is totally up to the maker. And the only thing with this, and I don't mind if any of the bag shows, you just want to be careful that you don't go over your spine, because if you do, you're going to have bulk there and you want to make sure that you have enough paper that you're, it's not going to want to, cur the edges don't want to curl up on you. That's the one big thing, I think. But sometimes when you're using some of the uh, decorative elements like this, I don't really want it to compete. Like, I think that page on its own is really, really pretty. Now, where you place this, you might want to think ahead. Am I going to put lace on this? If I am, am I going to put a lot of lace on this? Do I want this to be a pocket? 
because I have pockets here, I'm not worried about pockets um, in my, on the inside of my bags, but it's something, obviously, it's another element that you can add. And so, uh, before you would glue down anything like this, you might want to think to yourself, do I want to do that? And if you do, this is the time to do it. So you're always really just kind of trying to think a little bit ahead. And then why don't we go ahead and do this side as well. And this has, okay, this is going to go down there. So let's go ahead and add this. And hopefully, I've got three here. I've got the largest one to do. But hopefully this is going to just go as smooth as it can and we can get this done we can get these in the book look and see where we're at and keep on moving I am trying in my mind to think where do I want lace to go but you know how that ends up you think you know and then you're doing it and then when you go back where you get to those elements. It's like, no, I don't think so. And the hardest thing I have with uh, Medieval Mirage, to be perfectly honest, is knowing which way's up on a lot of the writing. Because the writing, and I'm not, I wouldn't say it's authentic, but it could be. But the writing, um, it's hard to tell if it's upright if it's um, upside down. And personally, I don't think it probably really even matters because I don't know. It might be just made up writing and not be authentic medieval. Any kind of authentic script, I have no idea. That's something I probably should ask Jar the next time that we're chatting if the uh, script is authentic. If anybody out there that's watching knows, let me know in the comments. It's one of those things I've always been wanting to ask. And uh, when we chat, it's just something that I don't think about. So, like I said, you don't want to be over on the uh, spine. There's not enough of a border here to be on the spine. So if I were on the spine, whenever I would fold this, this would tend to curl. And we don't want that. And then I've got this beautiful lady here that is going to go at the bottom. And then just to break it up a little bit, and because I had it, I went ahead and tore some script to use as another layer. So. We will get this down. And this could have been a pocket as well. I don't need, I don't feel I need pockets. And just because I could end up putting a snippet or lace or something here, I'm going to put this over here versus over here. Also, I'm going to show, I've got another reason to put it there, and I'll show you what that is. When I look at this, if I have that over here, this just screams I need something. It screams that to me. And so 
I didn't want to deal with that. But if you look at the script, I'm not sure that that is genuine script. But every once in a while, you get something that tells you, ooh, I'm upside down. So, yeah, I need to watch out for that. So we have a couple pieces here. And I'm not really remembering. I think I did want this under this piece here. So I'm going to put the inside on, but not this outside. So we will put this piece on here. going to worry just yet about the outside because this is going to come over this piece here. Such a beautiful, beautiful piece of um, digital Rose is gorgeous. It's so muted. It's just in the background, but absolutely beautiful. So we're going to take this, this rose here, and we are just going to barely kiss the inside edge of that. Just like that. Just like that. And now we can get this down. So I don't know if you are watching Karen Billinger, but Karen Billinger did a bag journal. She did a, um, I think she called it, she wasn't sure what to call it, and I think she called it bags and tags. It was either bags and ta tags or tags and, bags and tags is a perfect name for that. You know how I never knew what to call it. Bags and tags, perfect. Anyway, I had shared with you that somebody left me a comment stating that they didn't know, they didn't have any bags, and so they took wrapping paper and different papers, and they created their own bags, which was a fantastic idea. But Karen didn't have enough bags, and so she used an envelope in one of hers. So instead of the bag, say, going having a bag that went this way, she used an envelope, and that is perfect. And so I am thinking I might just go ahead and take Karen's idea, and we might just do one out of all envelopes. We'll see how that goes, because I thought that idea was a good one too. So here is my spine. And Jarf usually has, I won't say in every one of her kits, but in many of her kits, you get so much ephemera and you usually get pieces like this that I dearly love. They make great bookmarks. They make great page borders. And... Um, they're wonderful for long, narrow tags, little mini booklets, and so I really enjoy using them. I just have to be, be very aware of where the spine is. And on this paper, this particular bag, it's harder to see. And that is going to go there. And I just wanted to point out, you can see, these are three different kits right here. Digital kits from uh, Medieval Mirage.
but you can see you've got one double rose here. You've got one of these more traditional roses here. You have blue in a completely different pattern. Then you've got red over here. But look at all three of those. They go together and they look gorgeous. Then we had this piece here, which I am going to add. And I don't, she may be with this kit, but I'm not sure. I lost, I really did lose track of what I was uh, doing. So I'm kind of thinking, I hate to cover that rose because it's so gorgeous. I love this pattern here, but I think I am going to put her maybe right in the middle because I might come back or I could put her there. Yes, I'm gonna put her right there, just over this piece here because we might come back and add some lace trim right down there. So, um, definitely want her on here, on this page. She's beautiful, and um, the pattern is, uh, is adding what I would consider visual texture. And so we are going to just kiss this edge just the tiniest bit and give her a place right there. Now, once again, if you were doing a layout like this, this would make a beautiful tuck and it would make or a pocket. Really, really nice. So now we have a carpet salesman or weaver and we are going to this edge is protected by three different patterns and so let's glue these down this will be first Lift this up. It is a serrated edge and tuck it under there as best we can. And the same with this, and you'll notice even though these will this bag will be separated by pages. This and this go together and complement each other. So I did that on purpose, even though they will be separated and you should never see them really side by side. I did take that into consideration. And we will get this down. These need to be glued down before this one goes down, so let's go ahead and do that. We are using a lot of glue. I want to make sure that none of this comes up. So we have these two layers. Just like that. And then we have this one here, and this color, you will notice, complements in the flower, this flower below. So I am fairly certain, but not positive, two different kits. 
all of these. Once again, they would be three separate Medieval Mirage kits. Let's see. I don't want any glue on that lip. So let's do this like this. like that. We have three, once again, three separate kits, and I am fairly certain that he is yet again from another kit, and we are going to put him right there. You can see. Beautiful, beautiful together. And so, if you love medieval, if you love the uh, colors and the patterns. You don't even have to love medieval. If you love the ca the colors, the patterns, you only need one kit to be able to do so much with. But if you purchase two or more, my whole point is mix them up. Mix them all up and you will have just that many more possibilities. So this is what we've got. Probably put some kind of lace or trim there, but let's put this in our book. And this time what I did is a, I put a paper clip showing us that this goes like that. And then our next bag will go here and then our large bag I think I'm not positive I think but um, what I did when I put the other ones in is I went through the beginning and I looked to see where I had the pages so I could get everything back exactly the way I had it. So we have, this is the bag where we had, I left this here so we had a little mini pocket up there with the gusset. I closed that gusset, this gusset remained open so we could use that as a pocket. So the first thing, because this is going over the spine, we will go ahead and put this on. And what I am going to do is see the gusset here. I will put a paper clip holding that down so when I get this in there, go to put this in there, I don't have that gusset in the way. I should have discovered that before. <laughs> it made life a little bit easier for me in the beginning, but you know, sometimes I can be a slow learner. And sometimes I just have to go to the school of hard knocks and uh, learn that way. So let's see what I mean. The gusset is not in the way of putting this in here. I just have to fidget with the glue. But we are, we should be good. See if I can move this up just the tiniest bit. There we go. So we'll get this down. I love this Avery glue, but it is a soft, soft glue stick. side. So we've got that. 
And I am going to wait to put that down until I get this on. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I am going to paper clip the gusset back just to make it a little bit easier to get this in. See how the gusset then is out of the way, so I'm not having to fight uh, three pieces instead of one. I'll try to center this. Get this down. So pretty. Okay. So we'll get this down. We'll add our other couple pieces. We'll be able to see where the center is, and that will give us a little bit better idea if we want to center those pieces where they should go. So I haven't asked anybody. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. And everyone's happy. And your weather is good. Now, where is my... There it is. Okay, so we know. I think I'm going to go off a little bit because I love that pattern right here and I don't want to lose it. So I am going to take that. Okay, so there is news, family news. Today is our grandson's 11th birthday. He has a baseball game tonight we'll be going to. He had a party last Saturday, so um, that's good. And then our granddaughter, the one if you remember with the knee, she is having surgery tomorrow. So, and then she has PT Friday. It's amazing to me. They have to go in. There's a little tiny bone chip from her kneecap that they have to remove and they have to put her kneecap where it is supposed to be. And then, believe it or not, PT, she has PT on Friday. Amazing. Friday's my last day of PT, so, yeah, hard to believe. Okay, I do want to see the script and I definitely want to see that. So we are coming down towards the bottom edge with this piece. And when we do that, we have no idea what we're going to be adding as far as decoration. So we're not going to worry about that. We are just going to do our thing and worry about what comes next later. So that is the inside of the bag and I have to say I think it's pretty beautiful. And so now we are going to go move to here. So we should have a gusset. Okay, this is going to give you a really good idea of what I'm talking about gluing this down and worrying about these because they get in the way. 
if you just take and paper clip those down or hold those down, then you don't have to worry about dealing with that when you're gluing your border. And of course I did all the other bags. Not every one of them had a gusset, but a couple of them did. And um, it's a little bit of a struggle. And I came up with the idea of the paper clips and I thought, so simple and yet where were you before? So I'll try to get this centered. because it's, it's easier to glue a smoother surface than it is one that's... Oh, oh that didn't work at all, did it? So, now what are you going to do, Charlotte? Well, we are going to try again, only this time with a whole lot of glue on both sides. Let's see if we can get this. You can see my fold. You can see my fold there, but I can't see my fold here. There we go. That's going to have to do it. Okay. And it did. There we go. Nicely done. And this is going here. I just thought she was so beautiful. I really, really wanted to use her. So let's get her. Um, I'll show you the blue of her dress. Her face is beautiful. Jarf has a way of creating such beauty. I wanted that blue next to the blue on the border, so. I thought that that worked out really well. So there we go. And then there was this piece here that I thought we would put. I think we are going to put this right there and we could come up with something with lace later or something with a die cut in flowers. Um, I did want to mention I had a message from somebody that wanted to know for May's die cuts, which is going to be the um, the photo dies, wanted to know what size envelope, and um, I think business size, just your standard white business size, would work best because more than likely you're going to get I think probably three of these I think the, the last video I said two but I think three of these um, probably four of these and five of these so I think you'll be able to do a lot with that so hopefully you will think that is a good deal for a stamp I think I just, I have one yet to be mailed. Um, I got it ready yesterday, and it is going to, I'm going to say the first name, so that if you're waiting, I just want you to know it is coming, I, I'm mailing it today, it's going to June, and it's going to Oklahoma. So if June, if you're watching and you're sitting there thinking, I haven't gotten, yes, it's coming out, I'm mailing it today. So, that is good. Okay. 
So this is the last part of this bag. And then we have the large bag, and then we'll look and see what we've got. So, I'm good with that. Take these off. Get this down. So there is that. Make sure nothing's upside down. Sometimes I think about that as well. So we've got that, and then I just thought she was beautiful. And I'm like, yes, we need to use her. And I think, what is it I had decided? I think she was going here, and I had this beautiful, beautiful piece, and I'm going to put it there. And I think, well, that flower is going the right way, but I really, I think I'm going to put it this way simply because we've got this kind of a burgundy purple and you've got that burgundy purple up there and it kind of draws your eye to the whole page versus if I go this way your eye wants to sit down here that's how it is for me anyway so I think that's what I'm going to do so we're going to put her closer to the pocket side And see how that goes. So let's see. We can kind of center it like that. And then put this down. Even though our flower will be upside down, we could end up later covering that with lace. Or um, you just don't ever know. And I don't think anybody would ever notice that anyway. Putting this on, watching our... Fine. See that? Yeah, beautiful that is. So, if I've got this correctly, this then goes right here. And I had it, I know, up at the top. And when I look at this, I think, no, I am going to move it just because of all the patterns. I think that looks prettier. So this goes like that. Then we've got our large one. So let's take a look. This is one of the very large white ones. This is the outside. This is the inside. Obviously, this is a huge sheet. So it is going to go first. So I will. Let's see. Do I want it over that? Yes, I think I want this one over that. So let's pull this out just a little bit. And we have this. This goes. And this, I don't believe, has a gusset. No, it does not. Get this down. Where 
this must be bold. Put this in the center. Here's my fold. We are good on that side. Okay, we need lots of glue here. Let's see what's going to be. Maybe this will be the easier way to do this. Just bit by bit. I want glue on here in case I decide to cut that. Cut the ends going into the pocket. even as we can, as straight as we can, and this, okay, I'm going to give this a couple minutes to dry so I can get a good crease on my uh, spine, so let's work on this side. And this is going to go down first. The other comes on top of it. So this has no gusset. This goes first. Where's my fold? I could tell you all the pages that I have used, the digital pages, but you're just going to have to go through. When this is all done, I will try to go through and pick out the pages that I mostly used for those of you that um, it just to make life easier for you because Jarf's got a lot of kits available, so I'm going to see if I can simplify it. Um, I think then we had this, and then I'm pretty sure we had this. That makes a really, really pretty page. Let me see where my crease is, right there, so we can pull this all the way over if we want, but I don't think this can go all the way up. This goes there, so this has to come over. Okay, right there on the edge is where this has to go. Glue there. 
this down. Let's pull this back. I have got an announcement next month to make that's very exciting. I can't say anything yet. Yes, it's a little bit of a teaser. Hopefully you will. If you're into textiles, I hope you really like what's coming. I think I'm going to move that over so I can see this. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, then we have this piece here. And I remember looking at this the other day thinking, what are you going to do? This is where you want to kind of stop and think because what comes in the future, there's a possibility that we could put a pocket here. And um, if we put a pocket here, we don't want to cover that up. Oh, that looks kind of good. I kind of sat back yesterday and cut out a couple different things from the kit. That is pretty. Hmm. But because this is the inside going that way, that way, her facing that way might be better if I want to use her. Like that. That is really pretty, guys. I think I might have to go for that. I think I will. I had not planned it, but best laid plans. So I'd like to use as much of these papers as I have, and I can. There's a lot more coming, but let's see. Not too, too close to the spine. Not enough to cover up a lot of this beautiful, beautiful pattern. And then looking at this, I am saying the writing, that would be upright. Earth just has all these gorgeous add-ons, and you hate not to use them because they're so beautiful. So look at how pretty that is. Just look at that. Okay, so now we're going to play with this piece here, and it doesn't look like I've made it so that anything goes. There's nothing... We have paper there, but there is nothing strengthening the outside of this. So, you know, I think what I'm going to do, we'll do this side first. But I think, okay, and this, is, this needs to go down first because I've got this over there. Okay, and did I do something here? What did I do? Yeah, got a little bit of glue on it. But this, oh, that's right, because I tore this. So this needs to go down first. But, you know, I think what I'm going to do, just to make this a little bit stronger, and I'm wondering if this will work. I was going to put some scotch tape, but I have this and I think this is going to work. So I'm going to take this out. Like that. I'm going to put some tape down and see if just by chance this loves to tear. And so this may not go as well as I'm hoping. If I can get a long strip of this, 
this bag is pretty thin. And so I'm just thinking it would just be nice to have a little bit more. it's going to get sewn with needle and thread and we don't want it to rip and this is a good way to strengthen it you don't have washi tape don't worry about it use what you have you have scotch tape perfect not a problem but that's going to give us just a little bit more strength And is this our inside? That was our inside. This is our outside. So you're going to pick up a tiny bit of that, but not a lot. Let's glue this down. And it goes well. So we're good. Yeah, I was cutting this with the ruler, tearing it. And I tore a chunk out of it. And at first I thought, oh, Charlotte, now what are you going to do? Because this bag is so large, I didn't want to collage like 8 to 15 different types of papers just to cover it. And I thought, well, we'll just make a larger border to cover it. And we will be perfectly fine. So see if I can get this. There is my spine. Get this down. And now we'll do the border. Get our border on. Yeah, that's right. That's the right side. right in there like that. Okay, just like that. I'll so glue this side. that I thought was beautiful here and because as you can see I'm not going to go end to end we could put lace on here do I want it chances are I would have lace at the bottom versus the top so I think I'm going to plan for that or I'm going to come back in and add another collage piece. So let's see. I'm going to take this all the way up to the top, knowing that at the bottom, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It can easily stay that way. Or I could, well, that's pretty. Maybe I will just do that. I do like the green. I could do that. Let's see. We're going to put this. I think I was going to have it kiss just right there like that. And if I do, then you don't even notice that. Do you see that? If I pull this down... See, this way you really notice it. This way, not so much. You don't notice that that, so that's, yeah. That's what I had figured and I forgot. So that's what we're doing. 
because I remember looking at that and thinking, mm, we're going to need lace, we're going to need something. And then I had pulled this beautiful piece out. And I was just going to butt it right up against it. And by doing that, you don't notice that this abruptly ends. So this looks like just a pretty, pretty piece. Look at that, guys. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we have this, and then we are done with the bags. We've got the striped bags that I put in. Oh, I remember this. This is not complete because this goes on here, and I've got all this here. That's right. I remember we need to do something with that. So let's see what we're going to come up with was working on this yesterday. It got late. I got tired. And um, I said it's just going to have to wait. We will figure it out. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure it out. So we're going to get this in there. And we're going to figure it out. That's what we do. We figure it out. Got to make it work. Whatever that is going to mean, we are going to figure it out. this over and what do you know it goes all the way over so I guess that wasn't a problem but I think see how pretty this works together look at that pull this got this page here and I think we're gonna go this way just do it. Beautiful, beautiful blue and yellow butterfly. And we will put her down. you bear with me just a few more minutes and I have a share don't want her all the way to the edge love this you have some medieval writing up here at the top you've got a desert oasis here and uh, roses beautiful lantern. So if I am correct in the way that I am putting this together, this goes right here. Right in here. Just like this. And what I'm going to have to do then is come back and look at this and see if I'm happy with the way things are. I do want to show you the two that we hinged and put together. This might change. It is big and she's got nothing in it yet, so I'm so excited. But we do have These bags, remember? We hinged these bags together. So I was looking at these wondering, do we want to keep these like that? So let me pull this out. That's not going to get lost. They came right out of the center. 
I don't want to look at this and say, what do we want to do? Didn't know if I had anything here I might want to use. I do want to put something on these bags here. So let me see what I've got. Not that. Not that, not that. Let's see. But if we don't want to look, I don't think so. This might work better. We could maybe do, let's see. Check this out. We don't have to cover up. I think I like that. We don't have to cover up all of that, the patina of the coffee dyed paper. That's going to be sewn in here, so you're not going to really notice that. But we could do something like that. Or maybe what if we just rip this a little bit like that. And then this might make the difference in the world, guys. Just a little bit of color. Not a lot. We can come back and do that. I think I'm going to do it. Let's just do this. Because we really can worry about these bags later. But I was thinking that if we take care of these bags now, then all the bags that we have in here are done and then we only need to worry about if we're going to add more bags as we go around and decorate. So if we put that on there like that, we could leave it. We could put a little something. Let's just check and see what I've got cut out. That looks better, I think. Oh, I kind of like that. That looks good. Let's do this. That looks really good. really, really good. And then I think I'm going to finish this up on my own and let you go because I want to show you what Sherry sent. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do something like that. So we've got that bag and we've got that bag. So I'm going to finish that on my own. You're not going to miss anything because I'm going to do something similar to that. So let me go ahead and show you what Sherry sent me because I think it is the cutest idea ever. Look at this. I have not gotten into it. I've opened nothing. But this is a file folder. You can see. So that's a fold, but this is a fold. So I'm not at all certain, unless she created, she must have created the gussets. That's got to be what she did. But look at, then she layered two pieces of paper and made pockets. This 
also is a pocket. And then she created one of the envelopes using the, um, let's see, yeah, she created the envelope using these, um, the ends, which is so cute. And that keeps that flap down. I mean, that's just as cute as it can be. That's a great idea. This paper is adorable. And then she sent me envelopes for um, die cuts. And then there is, let's see what's inside of here. Don't want to miss anything. This is so cute. I need to figure this out. I'm pretty sure she just did. She folded this. That's what she did. She took a file folder. This is probably the bottom of the file folder. And then she cut it, and then she made the gussets. That's what she did. And then created two pockets on the front. That is really cute. Okay, what is in here? Oh my goodness. What all is here? This opens up. Oh, die cuts. Look at this. This is a file folder. She sent me die cuts. <gasps> Look at that, guys. There's a couple that... Let me go ahead. I love to do that. I love to take a pin and clean the die cut. That die cut's cool. Oh, my goodness. Now, I've not seen these die cuts. Look at that. this. How cute would that be if that was folded? Oh my goodness. Oh, and a Cupid. Oh my gosh. These are a thank you. Thank you, Sherry. These are just adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to see if I can find these. And look at this one. Oh, look at that, guys. You could use this for so many things. I mean, this isn't this is all year round, this die cut. That is really, really cute. I could see that out of even Christmas paper. How cool or glitter paper. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. And then what is this? Oh, teacups. Do I have this upside down? No, I don't. This is right side. So that is a pocket. This can go into a journal. Here is a pocket. Journal pages. So we've got pockets here. We've got a really, really cute paper pockets in both the corners of that page. And a nice pocket there. Look at this. So this could easily... Okay, this looks like it is a journal. It is a journal. Oh, look at this. This is a cute idea with a brad. Look at what she did. Two tags connected with a brad. And then one slips in the belly band and one on the outside. Now, how cute is that? That's a neat idea. Then journal pages. And then a cute pocket here on lined with lined paper. It also could be a tuck. So you could write on there. And look at how cute this paper is. She knows I love yellow. I might use this and make this my uh, address book for everybody's um, names and addresses. I've not put them in a book yet. I have them here to the right of me. So I don't have to keep bothering everyone. Such pretty paper. So cute. I think this would be perfect for that. Here is, oh my goodness, it is a, um, oh my goodness, it's a file fold, not a file folder, but a yellow manila envelope. And look at, that's, it's used as a journal page. I've never done that. Is this open? Oh, it is. Look at that. I've never done that. I am stealing that idea for sure. 
So you've got journal pages in here. I think this would be perfect to use as my um, address book for everybody's addresses. And Sherry, yours obviously will be first because this book was created by you. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Sherry, thank you so much for thinking of me. You guys, I tell you, you are just the best. The best of the best. And I really appreciate that. That is so kind. And yes, I have your envelopes. And so, um... I won't forget that. I'm going to put this right here uh, to the left of me, and I am going to continue working, but I am going to shut the camera off, and I think what's probably going to come next, guys, is I just have to make sure that I get the layout, but pages that are going to have, like this here, what are we going to do with this? Well... There's several things that we can do with this. We can leave it, and it can just be extra journal space. We can glue it down and create a pocket. I, I don't want to do that. That, to me, is boring. So um, that's probably not going to happen. We could take Medieval Mirage pages and just make, you know, a flip out. We could take envelopes and um, attach them to here and have flip outs. Or, because this is supposed to be about bags, we could do lace snippets and stitch all down here and have it be a flip out, but have it be um, lace and paper and that sort of thing. Say, for instance, we wanted to use this. We could back this with lace and then... Um, strings or ribbons or charms, buttons, that sort of thing, and have it be like that. It still would be a flip out, but you, you really wouldn't be able to do anything with it because there'd be all this stitching on the other side. But if you wanted to use a paper clip, it could be a nice tuck. So that's an option. Um, we could take an envelope. Let's see if I can grab. We could take an envelope. We could attach it. Obviously, it would have to be cut down. We could attach it. You then would, I wouldn't want to pocket this way because here is your spine. It would have to be a pocket this way. Um, and this could be considered like a bag, or we could take glycine bags and attach glycine bags to this. So, um, we're going to have to think about that. I am going to have to think about that, wonder what that, that, whatever that is going to be, is going to be what comes next. And that probably won't be until next week because we have got Index Card Friday. And then I've got an announcement, so we'll see when we get to that. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, YouTube's being kind of crazy, and um, I would appreciate all the thumbs up I can get. So if you like this uh, video, please let me know in the comments. And if there's something you'd like to see when we are done with this project, let me know, and I'll be thinking about that. And in the meantime, everyone, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.